What's going on everybody, Dre Guest here, and welcome to October's Omega unboxing video. This month we got the biggest unboxing yet, we got seven boxes to unbox today. Now I just want to state that starting next month we're not going to be having this many boxes, I'm going to drop back down to the main three, which is 1UP Box, Super Geek Box, and Loot Crate, and anything else that we see today that I feel justifies giving it another month. If I don't like what I see, we will not see these boxes again. So typical to these, I don't waste any time at all. We're going to go right into the first box, and it's going to be 1UP Box. Okay, we're going to start off right at the shirt. 1UP Box, if you do not know, gives you a shirt every month, which is always nice. This one is uh, really neat. We got Luigi and Pokemon. Some of the horror Pokemon, Ghastly. I don't remember the rest. It's been years since I've watched Pokemon, but I do remember Ghastly. But yeah, I really like 1UP Box's shirts because they always blend two games together. This time we got Luigi and Pokemon, as I stated. Nothing on the back or anything, but 1UP Box also has some great quality shirts. The fabric is the best I see in any of these boxes. So that's the shirt. Let's move on. It looks like we got one of those survival ropes, but with a green and black design. I'm assuming this green glows. I don't know if it even states in here if it does or not. Yes, indeed, I did look, and it does glow. Um, so yeah, the green glows on this, and it's called a paracord bracelet. I didn't know what they were actually called. I've always called them survival bracelets. Basically, you can unwind this, and it turns into a nice long thing of rope uh, to survive with. Next in the box is some Pop Rocks. Now, I wouldn't be eating these. I actually did open them up because I was curious. Uh, it felt a little hard in here, and it in fact is. It's basically one chunk of candy now. So you might not want to put Pop Rocks in these things because they do go bad really quickly. And we got two mini pop figures today. We got Jack Skellington and Daryl from The Walking Dead. I've never actually had any of these mini ones. I'm going to open them up and see how they are. So here's the Jack Skellington. It actually is good build quality. You can see the uh, painting is nice. And uh, yeah, typical pop figure quality. Can't complain with it. And it is a keychain as well. And then we got Daryl. It actually is a really good looking Daryl. He's holding a knife it looks like. I don't actually watch much of The Walking Dead, but I do know what Daryl looks like. And uh, that's definitely him. Again, just like the other one, it is a little keychain. So yeah, two mini pop figures. Is it worth one big pop figure? I don't know, but I do like these. And next up, it looks like we have a mini poster. Uh, it says Nightmare. Uh, oh, it is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington once again. Uh, but of course, we got once again the 1UP Box logo, even on the posters. You guys know I'll complain about this every time I see it because I hate seeing box logos on this stuff. But hey, they, they got to advertise somehow. But yeah, I actually didn't even notice. I just thought it was a Jack Skellington poster, but we actually got everything in this box on this poster. We got the Pokemon, we got Mario in the middle, uh, looks like Daryl's in the middle as well. So that's cool. I like that they combined everything into this poster. And finally, we got a Boo Mask. This is one of those sleeping masks. I don't actually know anyone who uses a sleeping mask, but if you need one, now you can be a little ghost. And finally, we got the monthly pin. It says 1UP Box. October 2015, and then the theme was Nightmare. So that's it for 1UP Box this month. Overall, I would say it is average. Uh, we got two pop figures. Mind you, they are mini pop figures, so I wouldn't really consider it even close to one pop figure. And, of course, a shirt and some other small items. Overall, I would say average. I didn't really like the sleeping mask or the pop rocks because the pop rocks went bad. But, yeah, it was a decent box. Next up is Super Geek Box. Now, this has been the fan favorite as well as my favorite as well. Super Geek Box has blown me away every month. Uh, it's one of the cheapest boxes, and it's given me the most out of it. To start off with, what the hell is this? We got a sponge. Okay, that's more like it. We got, what the hell? Okay, this is definitely one of those finger things, but it's made in uh, out of a chainsaw. So it's a, <laughs> so it's a little floppy. I mean, come on now. The problem is when you bend these things, they don't really work after that. So we got a chainsaw here, uh, one of the finger chainsaw things, but it doesn't really work. Also, another logo. I'm so surprised. But I'm sure if you put a book on it or something and flatten it out for a couple days, it might work. I don't know. But yeah, it's one of those cool finger things. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of this guy today, but this one is actually really nice looking. This is, of course, Jack Skellington again. It's a little plushy. He's got cute little feet. Uh, is it actually... It's called a Moppy's plush by... F oh, it's, a, it's by Funko Pop. Okay. So yeah, that's actually really nice. It's actually a Beanie Baby as well. Not actually a Beanie Baby, but it's got beans in the butt. So yeah, pretty cool little plush doll. And now we have the Villainous Cloak of Chaos. Uh, yeah, this is probably a cloak. It actually feels really small, though. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it looks like. I thought it was actually a cloak, but no, it's like a bandana. Uh, so yeah, you can wear it around here. And actually, that's a really cool-looking bandana. Unfortunately, I have a really big head, so it might not fit, but let's try. And it actually fits. This is actually a really cool item. I might use it for a costume or something in the near future. 
And we also get a shirt in this month's Super Geek Box. This one is a Joker shirt. He hit his funny bone, and in the back there is Batman and Robin, like an actual Robin and an actual bat laughing at him. So I guess Joker doesn't always get the last laugh. Again, though, good, good quality. Feels very similar to 1UP Box's quality, and uh, I've always liked their shirts as well. Now, I'm having a sneaky suspicion that 1UP Box and Super Geek Box are made by the same people, because once again, we have some Pop Rocks. But these ones actually do feel alright. Now, if you don't know what Pop Rocks are, uh, basically, put them in your mouth, and then they make noises. So yeah, they're candy. Um, you can hear that. That is what Pop Rocks do. And these ones actually do taste good, they didn't go bad yet, so props to Super Geek Box. And the final item for the box is an air freshener. We got a Dead Pixels air freshener. And actually, I just noticed on the back, well, for, on the front we have his eyes open, and on the back he is covering his eyes. That's really cute. And as it seems so common with these, we got another monthly pin that says Super Geek Box's theme was chaos, and of course we got Jack Skellington on it. So overall, I gotta say, not a bad box, definitely not Super Geek's top box, but I do really like this plushie. This is a really high quality plushie, and we got a shirt as well, so I can't complain at all. Definitely a decent box. And next up, we got the Big Daddy Loot Crate, so let's see what they got in this month's Loot Crate. Right off the bat, we got a pop figure, Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. There's also Marty McFly, which I would really rather have, but I don't mind Dr. Emmett Brown either. Let's open it up and see what this one looks like. Okay, this might be one of my top favorite pop figures. We got Dr. Emma Brown. He actually has glass in his uh, lenses as well, and on the back he's got a- he's attached to a battery with the jumpers in the front. Uh, a really nice looking pop figure. I do like that one. Moving on, we got a Doctor Who Sonic Spork. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't watch Doctor Who. I know I should, it's just so hard to keep caught up. But holy shit, this thing looks cool. So it actually comes in kind of a collector's box here. We got foam and everything, and the design is freaking amazing. And it's an actual spork. So yeah, as you can see in all its sporky goodness, we got a uh, neat design. Again, I have no idea what this is in reference to Doctor Who, but I'm assuming this is probably on the show. Uh, it feels really good, high quality, and a, I've never had a, gotten a spork before. So props to Loot Crate for that one. Okay, I'm seriously in heaven right now. We got a Back to the Future Hoverboard 1-5 scale replica. I cannot wait to see this thing. Okay, opening up the box, we got a certification card here. This, this is getting pretty serious. Uh, it's actually signed in everything. It says, this document certifies this 1.5, or sorry, 1.5 scale replica of Back to the Future 2 Hoverboard was created by Quantum Mechanics Inc. under the license from Universal Picture, Pictures exclusively for Loot Crate. So this is seriously a 1.5 scale model of the hoverboard and my god like there in the background there's a nice little mirror and everything like that is a sexy ass collectible okay here it is out of its box and that mirror was actually its stand this is so freaking awesome the attention to detail you can even see at the bottom there is really freaking nice i'm gonna have to say this is probably my favorite collectible yet out of any of these boxes this is freaking amazing and it's the box that keeps on giving. We got another awesome shirt here. Be excellent to each other. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Nice blue and black shirt. Very simplistic graphics, but it looks extremely nice. And finally, we got the monthly pin. I don't even know why I show these things. No one really cares about them. But this month's theme was, if you didn't guess it, time. Now, I gotta say, that was a good box. Props to Loot Crate on that one. There was no junk in there and everything I enjoyed. So... Huge props to Loot Crate on this month, they've been kind of stale as of late, so it's nice to see them doing another amazing box. Alright, and next up we got Geek Feel. This is what I'm excited about. This is uh, my first Geek Feel box, so it's going to be an experience for me and you. Just a little bit about this box, it's $23.90 a month for a one month subscription, but that includes shipping, which will be about the same as a Loot Crate, if not a little cheaper, I believe. And opening it up, and man, it looks really nice in here, like it's got a nice little sheet on the top. Uh, this box feels really heavy too, so I'm excited to see what's inside. Starting off with, we got Geek Feel Magazine. This is just like uh, Loot Crate's magazine. I don't really show these because it's basically just advertisements about what's in the box and whatnot. So, moving on. First up, we got a game. We got Over 9,000 Zombies Downloadable Strategy Guide and Game. Now, I actually do already own this, so you guys are lucky. If you're one of the first people in this thing, there's the code for the game. You put that in the Steam, and it's yours. Okay, this is just awesome. Starting off with, we got Guardian Aid. Let me let me try and focus this in. If it would focus, that'd be great. There we go. This is actually an energy drink inspired by Halo with kind of a Gatorade uh, logo on it. I gotta say, I'll probably not be drinking that and be putting that on my shelf because Guardian Aid, how awesome is that? 
And another pop figure, we got Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy, and another show I haven't watched. You guys gen tend to hate me when I don't know anything about the things I'm opening, but it's hard to know everything about every geek culture that there is out there. So opening it up, it actually is a bobblehead pop figure, which you don't see too often, that's always nice, and it does look like it's a very decent quality, as always with pop figures, they're good quality. Uh, I just don't know who it is, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best item ever. Okay, I was like, is this really a pillowcase? But then I read it. It's a nap. That is the best thing I've ever seen. Holy crap, that made me laugh. And another Back to the Future item, we got a DeLorean time travel vinyl sticker. Uh, yeah, basically the uh, dashboard on the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and you can put that wherever you want. And another awesome shirt here, we got a Video Games Live shirt, which is a live orchestra that plays video game music. I actually didn't know about them till now, so props to this. I actually really like this shirt. It's, uh, if you don't, didn't notice, it's got, like, a bunch of different game controllers on it to create, I believe, their logo. So yeah, another great shirt here, Video Games Live. I did not expect that at all, but definitely fits the box, that's for sure. And we got a Save the Clock Tower pamphlet here. This is actually from the movie Back to the Future, and it says... We love you on the back with a number to call you. I actually think you're supposed to call this number, so I'm gonna try it. Screw it. So yeah, reading more about this, there's 88 winners. I don't know what you win, but if you call this number and it says something like you win, I guess you win. So I'm gonna call it now. I just wanna know if I won. Hey, Scott, it looks like you're just in time to help us save the clock tower. The people of Hill Valley are no match for your superior skills in getting us up to speed. Unfortunately, you're not a winner this time. Oh, shit. I guess I didn't win. Story of my life. And we have a Save the Clock Tower button as well. I, I gotta be honest, it's better than a monthly button, so props to Geekfield for that. So yeah, that's it for Geekfield, the first one. Let me know what you guys think of this. I actually really like that. Almost as good as Loot Crate, I would say. We got a shirt, we got a pop figure, we got that awesome pillowcase, a freaking energy drink, and that really cool phone call thing where you could possibly win. Uh, definitely I like it when they add unique things, and there was a lot of unique things in this one. Next up, we got Z-Box. I chose to do this one mostly because it is from Europe, and there, most of these boxes are from the United States, obviously. So a lot of you guys ask me, is there any boxes for Europe, for example? I have Lutaku for Hong Kong as well. So now we got Z-Box. It is $9.99 a month euros, and that comes with free shipping to all of the UK. So let's see how it is. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this one is a superhero or villain inspired because we got a really nice box here. I actually really like this box. Okay, to start out, we got a nice little Joker figure here. This isn't a pop figure or anything. This is just a Batman Shleech or something at the front there. I don't know what brand that is, but a uh, nice little figure here, and it looks really good. Oh, God, this one. I'm really tempted to do this, but I do have people living upstairs of me, so I'm not. But we got a sound... It says a villain in a can. Basically, it's one of those air horn things. I'm not going to press it because I'll scare the hell out of myself as well as anyone around me, but... That's probably a bad idea to give to a kid, to be totally honest. And we got one pixie stick. That's right. One. I haven't actually seen these since I was a kid. There's a lot of candy in these boxes. I actually never gotten candy until this month. So, I guess that's good. I don't know. And next up is an X-Men rubberized wristband. This is one of those stretchy wristbands. A little thicker than most of them. But yeah, it's just a generic wristband with the X-Men on it. And the next item is a Transformers mug, but this one's really cool. This is one of those ones where you add hot liquid to it and it changes a bit. We got the Decepticon logo with a disguise in it, and it says Robots in Disguise. So yep, there we go. We got a Robots in Disguise mug, and it is actually disguised right now. I'll put some hot water in it, and we'll see how good it works. Okay, we got the mug here, and I got some hot water, so I'm going to try and pour this in without burning myself. And we should see... Hopefully, oh god, this is really hard to do when you can't see how high the water is. Okay, now we should see, oh yeah, there it goes, that was really quick, look at that, that is so cool. The actual disguise has pretty much vanished, you can kind of see an outline of it, but that is a really cool cup, I do like that a lot. Ow. And I burnt myself. And going back to the villains in the can, I kind of went through this too quickly because this is actually... An actual villains in a can. There's a lot of different uh, sound effects on it, and it's, yeah, it's a pretty cool idea. I thought it was an air horn, so that's why I didn't use it, but obviously it's just a cool little sound box thing. 
And this is actually a create your own superhero pack. So basically you put stickers on this thing and you can create your own. So it comes with uh, two sticker art packs and action accessories. So I'll open this up and we'll create my own little superhero. Okay, so here it is opened up. We got the figurine as well as a shield for it. And then we got the stickers to put on it. It's actually a really nice feeling sticker. It's almost like a felt. Uh, you can choose between these ones Actually, I think they're just pretty much blended together, or these ones. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do my best to create something here. So here's my poor attempt at making something. We got some sort of weird-ass Captain America thing here. They basically only give you one thing to do, which is Captain America for this one. There's also Spider-Man and War Machine. Uh, but you can also draw on these, you can paint on these, it says. So you pretty much make your own figure, uh, but it starts you out with Captain America. And that's it for my first Z-Box. It comes with a booklet as well, similar to Loot Crate. I gotta say, probably pretty much average. We've got a few things here you can recap if you want. Uh, the figurine, the coffee mug, the villains in a can. I don't know if I really like that figure. I don't like the ones there where you make your own, because, well, I don't have any artistic abilities at all, so it kind of sucks for me. But overall, I would say, yeah, that one's pretty much average. Next up, we got the T-Blocks. This is a new one as well. Basically, they asked me to do this, and I'm like, yeah, I'll try one out. Uh, you pay $9.99 a month, you get a guaranteed shirt, as well as a few other geek and nerdy items. Uh, I think you can also get movie-inspired shirts or beer and liquor-inspired shirts, or a mixture if you want to do that as well. So I don't know how many shirts in here. I really don't know much about this. This one's kind of the oddball out of all of them, but it is cheap, so I figured we'd check it out and see if cheap equals good. Okay, the biggest reason you want to get this is for the shirts. So we got an actual StarCraft real Blizzard shirt. This one is actually Blizzard. It says right there as well. So it is actually a real branded shirt. I don't know much about StarCraft. I don't remember what this guy's name is, but um, yeah, definitely a nice shirt. And uh, I do like the gray, purple, and blue coloring. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely going to want this thing for the shirt, but we got a button here. This is a Wonder Woman button. It seems to... I think these crates really seem to think we like buttons, but I think everyone complains about them. We also got a Captain America button if this ever focuses. There we go, now it's focused. It's actually sideways. This is holding it right straight on the back. There's the thing, and it is sideways. So, complaint with the button. We also got a Marvel comic book. This is Moby Dick. Uh, Herman Melville Mo Moby Dick's comic book. I did not know there was a Moby Dick comic book. That's awesome. And it says it's $2.99 US for a comic book. I didn't realize, I thought comic books were like 50 cents for whatever reason. I guess it's not 1970 anymore. And we got a bunch, like this is just totally random. We got a bunch of stickers here. We got Star Wars coffee, obviously a mock of Starbucks coffee. Uh, we got us, <laughs> this is just random stickers. I love it. Star Trek sticker, uh, KO sticker. Uh, how nice is that? And a uh, Street Fighter sticker. I believe that's Street Fighter, right? I forget her name, but I believe it's Street Fighter. And then the T Blocks sticker. And now we got a poster for Seventh Son. This is a movie. I haven't even heard of it. Again, I really don't know what to think about this. Again, it's cheap. It's $9.99, but the rest of this shit is just totally random. What I would suggest is to drop like two bucks, get rid of all the other content, and just do one random shirt a month. A good shirt at that and I think people would like it a little bit more. But yeah, that's it for T-Blocks. We got one more, and that is Lutaku. And finally, we got Lutaku. Now, Lutaku comes from Hong Kong. This is actually gonna be the last month I do it, only because there's probably one or two of you from Hong Kong, and I really don't see the need. Now, it is 50 bucks, but I guess if you live in Hong Kong, figurines are really expensive, so it really is a good deal. Okay, starting out, we got this really nice Dragon Ball. It comes in a nice little tin as well. It's got like a felt lining in it. And I don't know if it's acrylic or glass, but it's really heavy and really nice. Now we got a Batman projection light. This looks like one of those laser pointers, but I think it does the Bat logo. Okay, this thing is just so damn cool. I have all the lights off here. Hopefully it's dark enough. I'm going to shoot this behind me. Yes, we got the Batman logo. I thought it was a laser, but this is just a really nice LED light. This works extremely well. Next up, we got a Vegeta vinyl pop figure. A very popular pop figure. I'm sure a lot of you love Dragon Ball Z out there. Let's open it up and see how it looks. So yeah, typical pop figure quality. Nice painting, uh, nice vinyl, and uh, yeah, just a nice little Vegeta character. Okay, I did not expect this one. This is a Superman chair cape. Yes, you put this on your chair and your chair gets a cape. Okay, this is too complex for me, but this is... I think you wrap this around your chair, it's got like a stretchy thing, and then you attach this actual cape to it. It's, it's a Superman logo cape. It's actually really nice. It's got a nice little silky fabric. I guess I have to do it now. Okay, here is the cape in all its glory. This is actually a chair cape. On the front, there's also... Uh, gotta move it up here. A Superman logo. 
Uh, yeah, the stretchiness is for the size of the chair, so it fits all, I guess. Okay, and the final one is an anime figurine of Goku. I think he's gone Super Saiyan. I can't read any of the thing on, things on the box, so we're just gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Oh god, there's Goku pieces everywhere. Okay, so yeah, this comes disassembled. Okay, guys, here it is assembled. This is bar none the best figure I've ever gotten. This thing is like, look at the detail in the clothing even. You can see it like sheared off. And in terms of size as compared to a pop figure, it is quite a big figurine. So yeah, I'm gonna say definitely this is the best item I've ever gotten. The crate, mind you, Lutaku is a $50 crate, so it's to be expected that the item's gonna be a little bit better. Okay guys, that wraps up another month for the Mega Unboxings. Uh, definitely I'm gonna have to say Loot Crate wins this month. I mean, you had the collectible Back to the Future hoverboard, and of course the Doc Brown figurine, and the awesome shirt as well, so I gotta give it to Loot Crate. They definitely uh, kicked ass this month, but honestly, most of the crates had a decent amount of things in it as well. I mean, there was really no filler content this month. So yeah, guys, if you want to know any information regarding any of these crates, there's a bunch of links in the description. Go ahead and click those. Some I might have deals for, so definitely check out that description if you do want to get some money off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.